All right. So we need to talk about the biggest news of the week, which is the downfall of Nicki Minaj. And I want to dissect the DNA of the best rap diss track ever. So all was calm in the Gag City Kingdom in 2023. Finally, they were having a good year. Nicki's hits were hitting. The bars were barring and the barbs were barbing. But then a flaming hot dragon came to the city, planted an egg of destruction to burn it all down. But Megan didn't burn it down herself. She just planted the egg. So the egg was this song called Hiss that Megan released last Friday. When this song came out, I was like, not really anticipating much. I was excited. I like Megan. So I was like, okay, cool. A nice song. Like, I'm excited. But when I heard it, I did not know she was coming to kill. This song was a snake pit trap, like the um, title insinuates. And Nikki fell right into it. It's literally the most lethal diss track of all time. And when you aim for the devil, you can't miss. So Megan aimed right for Nikki's pink bob and delivered a kill shot. The most intense lyric in the song that brought down Nikki's whole empire in one line was, these hoes don't be mad at Megan. These hoes mad at Megan's law. Now, if you don't know, Megan's law is the name of a federal law in the United States requiring law enforcement authorities to make information available to the public regarding registered sex offenders. Now, she didn't even say Nikki's name, but a hit dog hollers. So Nikki's husband is a sexual offender. Nikki's brother is a sexual offender. Her producer that she always works with is a sexual offender. Her frequent collaborator, 6 9 is a sexual offender. There's more, but Nikki seems to drop her associations with these people faster than she drops songs. So Megan finally said the quiet part out loud and put that line in her song and stood up to the queen in a way that everyone was afraid to. And this was very smart. This is why I'm dissecting how smart this song was. It immediately exposed Nikki's lack of morality, her lack of common human decency. Yes, this was very personal, like it did go for her, her family. But what does a snake do before it bites? It hisses. Basically, Megan was saying, I had a reason to say all this. In the, in the song, she also says, I don't really know what the problem is, but I guarantee you don't want me to start. Because Megan doesn't know what the problem is with Nikki, but Nikki disses Megan every chance she gets. On every single lead single from Pink Friday 2, <laughs> Nikki, dissed Me- Nikki dissed Megan. On the song, Super Freaky Girl, Nikki said, get that goofy girl a chair. She was cocky, I could swear. Till my old tape sold more than your album, drop a tear. Which is a good line. And I think she said, get that goofy girl a chair because she got shot and she can't stand. Yeah. So fucked. On Red Ruby to Sleeves, she said, 100 on the horses when we're fixing to leave, but I ain't fuck with horses since Christopher Reeves. That point four zero, call him, make him dance like a go-go. And if you don't remember, when Tori shot Meg, he said, dance, bitch. And his gun with a, was a point four zero or whatever that means. Yeah, it's like the type of gun, right? Yeah. I'm not, I, I, I don't, we I mean, I'm not saying I don't have a gun, but <laughs> because <laughs> if the barbs want to come to my house, I deal with much heavier artillery. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, on Fuck the Club Up, the worst diss of all, she said, stay in your Tory Lane, bitch. I'm not Iggy. Not Iggy. Again, poking fun. By the way, I don't hate Iggy. Like, I would love to be her. No, like, I've, I've never <laughs> had a problem with Iggy. Like, no money, no family, 16 in the middle of Miami. That was a bop. Love that one. <laughs> so, making fun of her getting shot by Tory again. On Hiss, Megan said, I'm a big dog, bitch. Can't little sis me. Hoes get views when they trying to diss me. Nikki literally only got views. I'm not saying only, but in every one of her hit songs from the album, she dissed Megan, which is definitely worth noting. So her making fun of her getting shot, that meant all bets are off. And Megan's very smart. She's a college graduate. So she waited and she didn't yell and cry. She's like an archer. She like assessed the situation, mm-hmm. had a great plan for attack, pulled back her arrow, aimed, <clears> and, then, and then fired. She didn't just pounce and attack. So Megan's very smart. And her diss track was almost like evil in its delivery because it was so slick first she completely took away all of nikki's credibility paralyzing her with any possible diss back because the megan's law line was so good like she had the opportunity to do the funniest thing possible and she did then in the song she says i can never be judged by a bitch dancing making making r kelly go viral now people don't know but that was actually about nikki as well people think nikki headlined a festival with r kelly Oh, see, I didn't mm-hmm. get that one. I didn't yeah. that. People had to do, like, digging for that. I mean, all of R. Kelly's wrongdoings were known. Oh, for sure. For sure. So it's like, why would she like, do why that would you still? work with him? So fucked up. Um, then she made sure to really get Nikki enraged before she, she put this out. She, she wasn't just going for the Megan's Law of it all. She said some other disses, like, bad bitch and the walls ain't bending. 
because Nikki has multiple videos where she has photoshopped and doctored the, oh, the walls. Megatron video, especially. Oh, did she? Oh wow! Yeah. I was I was like, she did look snatched in that. Look at the it's walls fake. next time. No way! <laughs> See, we we have a professional Photoshop correspondent here. That's that's why you're here right now to call out um, Nikki Minaj. Nikki said, these hoes have no ass, they shots. Nikki has admitted to getting ass shots. Mm -hmm. But a decade after she got them, she admitted after lying about it for a year. So knowing she was enraged, knowing she has no plausible, redeemable proof to prove herself innocent or come back at Megan, knowing Nikki knows the rules of rap, like, Nikki had... She, Megan made sure Nikki had to respond. Because in the song, Me Megan said... These hoes don't be mad at Megan. These hoes mad at Megan's law. I don't really know what the problem is, but I guarantee you don't want me to start. Bitch, you a pussy. Never finna check me. Every chance you get, bet your weak ass won't address me. So she called her out. Like she went in the middle of the streets banging pots and pans. Like, come right. out. Like, you have to fight. There's no missing it at that point, you know? Yeah, but I love the line, bet your weak ass won't address me. Because she got her so mad. She got her in a place where there's nothing to say to make her enraged and just invigorated to make a fool of herself online because Megan didn't destroy her career herself destroy Nikki's career herself she let Nikki do it for her so Nikki got so mad Megan gave her some matches to burn down her own career and that's exactly what she did within 24 minutes of the song being released on Twitter Nikki was liking thousands of tweets insulting Megan Thee Stallion tweets like photos of a dead horse Tweets saying, where are my bitches with two good feet at? Fuck them toes up. Fuck them, fuck them toes up. She contradicts herself so much, too. But then she went live right after her tweet liking spree. Her psychotic tweet liking spree. Full mental break. I don't even know how someone's Twitter fingers could move that fast. It was truly insane. But she went on live and started to tease her diss track that she was cooking up in the studio. And it said... You have three Grammys. You have to learn how to rap on beat. Bitch like six foot. I call her Bigfoot. She fell off. I said, get up on your good foot. Now, sure, she rhymes foot, foot, foot with foot and foot and foot. <laughs> <laughs> but like she, the, the bars aren't, aren't barring. It's, it's actually like a Dr. Seuss-esque rhyme. Well, and it's still about the same thing about getting shot in the foot. Like there, there's nothing new. There's not like other layers on top of it. Yeah, there's, there's yeah. nothing else to say and someone online called her the dr seuss of her time and i was like that's so hilarious because i don't know if you know this but dr seuss was like an awful person like morally reprehensible completely corrupt of any empathy or basic human decency his only skill was 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 rhyming words together in a clever way that got him fame so he was like wait Nicki minaj is the dr seuss of her time <laughs> which is actually so funny because she's like i'm the queen i'm the queen of my time but no you're the dr seuss <laughs> of your time and it's the most outlandish comparison but it's so true i'm obsessed with it so after nikki got her in this situation where she has nothing to say she knew nikki would go to the farthest lengths to try to take megan down which would make nikki embarrass her herself so she wanted nikki to act like a fool like this she was really lashing out like a wounded animal trying to survive that's when you see an animal go crazy when they're backed into a corner they got some lashes and like they're trying not to literally die. Like they'll just thrash and go insane. So the apex predator was down. So Nikki started tweeting crazy things like y'all want to bring up family members and lying on your dead mother. You lied to Gail, fucked on and lied to your best friend's man, told me to drink and go to the clinic if I was pregnant, all because I wouldn't let your funky butt pour liquor down my throat. Bitch thinks she a bully because she got a Rock Nation brunch every year. He told all your tea, but you taking shots to my family. Bwah, ha, 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 ha. Get up on your good foot. Every album she's ever released flopped. Paid media all the time. Fraudulent awards flopped. Horrible actor can't cry on cue and act like a bookie. It's a chop. Pathological and manipulative liar. This bitch ain't got streams in 84 years. Her team didn't want me to drop because they knew those numbers gonna embarrass her lying lipo ass. She, basically, she said a bunch of other things about her. Um including but not limited to saying she slept with her that Megan slept with her mom's boyfriend after her mom died that she lies on her dead mom's grave all the time to manipulate people that she's a fragment foot bitch because she has bullet fragments still in her feet which is kind of weird because she says you're lying about getting shot but you're also a fragment foot bitch right, like the contradicting like you said 
Yeah, she's she's really just um s- like spiraling Com- completely. I I spiraling isn't even the word for it, but it's just having a psychotic mental break of dangerous proportions. Like Gag City was nuked in this s- situation. <laughs> Uh, she retweeted a tweet that said, so let me get this straight. <clears throat> Megan knew Nikki was trying to get pregnant and she tried to shove alcohol down her throat on live. False. Nikki was not pregnant at the time. And Nikki was trying to shove alcohol down Megan's throat at the time. Then it said, Megan slept with her best friend's man and allowed her best friend to be dragged all over the internet. False. That's not the reason why they were beefing in court. And even the lawyers who were in the room at the time said that's not the reason why they were beefing. Then it said, Megan suspected Nikki going to the clinic when she knew she was happily trying to get pregnant. Megan had surgery on her body, but lies to the internet to make people think she's going to the gym. We don't know what what Megan did, but Nikki, you went to a man's basement to get concrete ass shots in, like, Tijuana in 2008 so you can have a rap career. I don't know why you're sub-dissing yourself here. Yeah, like insulting someone for lipo, just... (sighs) Yeah. You know, it just doesn't really hit. And I don't think Megan got lipo. It's not like she had a crazy body transformation. She maybe lost like five pounds. And even if she did, though, like, how are you going to hold that against someone? No, exactly. It's all just very self-incriminating. She shot her own foot in a a metaphoric way, which is I just think that's so poetic of the whole situation. So she also said that Megan calls her apparent best friend racial slurs behind her back. She's referring to Cardi B who is of Mexican descent in some way. So I think she said she called her a dirty Mexican. I I don't know if that's, I mean, I'm assuming that's not true because Cardi and Megan continue to hang out all the time and Cardi would not take any shit like that. And everyone on Twitter was like, Megan is from this part of Texas. She would never say that. The Barb's were doxing anyone who would not agree with what they were saying as if they were a cult member. And if you go against the cult, you're going to die. They found Megan's mom grave and said they were going to dig it up. They were calling everyone ugly, whores, sluts shaming them. Like the barbs were all lashing out with Nikki because that's kind of just the fan base that Nikki raises into situations like this. So they're going to act just like her because if they go against Nikki, that's like losing a part of their identity. So they kind of have to. But it's weird that they revert to being misogynist and horrible people just to support their queen. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So Nikki put out her song Bigfoot and she she did add more to the disc. She said, bitch, you better stop that dialogue before I hit Carl and buy your catalog. Nikki doesn't even own her own catalog and apparently is in debt. Um, then it says, swearing on your dead mother when you lie, this begging whore talking about Megan's law for a free beat, you could hit Megan raw. If you're a ghostwriter, party in Megan's jaw. Party Megan don't talk anymore. So Megan definitely wrote this new song that ended your career. So if like she doesn't need a ghost writer in that way. And then there was a psychotic part where she just kept repeating lying on your dead mama, lying on your dead mama, which to me just deemed Nikki like morally reprehensible. And she waved the white flag at that point. Like there was no nothing to redeem left. She she ruined her own credibility forever after everything she did to Megan. A lot of people online were saying they think Nikki was on coke and this was a coke rant. And I wasn't going to bring this up. So the barbs didn't like (laughs) sense, like send me my mom's toe in the mail (laughs) tomorrow. (laughs) And then the next day send me her left foot or something. So I wasn't going to bring this up, but Nikki confronted it and said, whenever you see the words coke rant, you know, they're mad. If y'all hear how loud I'm laughing, I've never done coke in my life. But if I did, I'd proudly do it. I would... You waited up all night for this ass song, though, right? Yes. Yes, Nikki. Nikki thinks the streams and the records she's breaking are people laughing with her. They're laughing at her. The overall reception to it, though, has been so bad. Totally. You know, I feel like people are listening to it out of, like, just to hear, like, oh, what is this? You know what I'm saying? It's not like, oh, yeah, this new song. Like, it's more just like that. They want to hear shock value of it and not a good reaction to it yeah i streamed it once just for like psychiatric reasons Mm -hmm. just to observe no (laughs) yeah it's like seeing a car crash i had to look just a little but i didn't give her any more streams but it's really we're in unprecedented times because the internet turned against nikki completely after seeing her literally be like a savage like take herself down so low and i always saw this psychotic part of nikki behind her eye 
And I really thought she was doing really good in 2023, even though I still sense something was off. It just seems like she wasn't doing the best and she was one laugh away from a tear. Like she was going to break at any moment. So I feel like Megan knew this was her moment to crack her. She broke Nicki Minaj. At the end of Bigfoot, she stopped rapping. She was just whispering in, into the mic like, those lies you said about your mom. You don't want them out. She broke her. She couldn't even rap anymore. But this is unprecedented because even barbs are turning against her. Every tweet is against Nicki Minaj. No one's calling her the queen anymore. If they call her the queen, they're calling her the self-appointed queen of rap. Like she's lost the title of queen because this isn't queen behavior. And people understand like you don't deserve that title if you're not going to act like it. For sure. I mean, I think of other people that I, I, you know, previously would have put on that same platform as Nikki, like Rihanna, you know, along the lines of Beyonce, like you can't imagine them doing something like this. No, like, people were second. tweeting like Nikki officially ruined whatever was left of her legacy tonight. Yeah. And it's very clear that all the rap beefs before Lil Kim, Remy Ma, Lotto, Cardi, Iggy, now Megan, they weren't the problem. And I feel like Nikki always is trying to fight this, tu- this toxicity that she has. And I wish she would feed the good wolf and not the bad wolf, as people would say, but she just fed the bad wolf in this this situation. I do think she has a good side. Barbs, I respect you. I love you. I love your loyalty. I have a deep love for Nikki, obviously. I've grown up with her. But in this moment, she fed the bad wolf. And you guys can't, like, you're her stand, and I think as she's the object of your standom, you need to kind of, like, hold her accountable. So, Barbs, I can't ride with her on this. If you're being loyal, I respect that, but try not to you know, stoop down to that level with her. But um, yeah, I just think this song was so perfect because in the song, Megan addressed anything she knew Nikki might come at her for. She addressed the Tory comment. She was like, don't say anything to me about Tory. If you want to talk about him, write him a letter, schedule mm-hmm. a conjugal visit <laughs> in jail. <laughs> if you, she's addressed the body shaming or not. Uh, she addressed slut shaming comments. She said, if you're going to call Mia Slut, yes, I have these bodies, but I'm proud of it. And I've used any man I've had sex with and they've talked about me as promo. Like, I'm proud of what I've done. And I thought we would move past that conversation. So it's weird that Nikki was doing this. If we want to psychoanalyze Nikki, what do you think she was going through when she heard that song drop? You know, I actually saw a post, a really good post about this. Let me see if I can find that. Oh. So one thing that someone said, which kind of what we talked about earlier, is getting your lick back isn't always as important as keeping your legacy intact. Mm -hmm. And I kind of think with part of this, like, I don't know that so many people would have clocked it being about Nikki if she wouldn't have exactly said that like i think isn't that called like the streisand effect i right? i wrote that down oh, you did? okay sorry i don't want to take away oh from no i no no say. no yeah say it um so correct me if i'm wrong but isn't the streisand effect like back in like the 90s or something 80s barbara streisand like someone took a picture of her house and she made a big deal of it in the courts and so as a result of that um all the reporters started taking pictures of her house to like show it and talk about this story and it ended up being a way bigger thing than what it would have been if she just would have like let it go under the rug and i kind of think this thing with Nikki could have or would have been like that. I mean, obviously some people still realize, but it wouldn't have been exactly. as big, you know? Does yes. that make sense? Yeah, the Streisand effect, like if you pay attention, if you give something more attention than it needs, it will blow up when it didn't need to. So like like it, it could have escaped everyone's mind or just went over everyone's head. Mm-hmm. But since you were anxious about it and confronted it, now everyone knows. So exactly, Nikki gave into the Streisand effect, but that's exactly what... Megan wanted in this case because these hoes are mad at Megan. They're mad at Megan's law. And then she said, I bet you won't address me. Like she called Nikki out and taunted her. So Nikki was like, I have to address it. So Megan kind of set her up to expose herself. Cause she never even said her name. She's just like right. Megan's law. And now how about you, ad- you address me and you call out yourself for this being about you. She's literally so smart. Like this was the most perfectly calculated takedown. I've ever seen because she knew how she knew what to do before. She knew what Nikki would react to as it came out and completely debunked anything that Nikki could say about her after and set her up to destroy herself. This is just the most perfectly calculated takedown of all time. And I've seen so many tweets being like, Megan the Stallion is the new queen of rap, queen of rap, Megan the Stallion. And like last week, if someone told me Twitter would agree that Megan the Stallion is the queen of rap, I would have not believed you. Oh, for sure. 
it's crazy how her mind is so powerful. She has overthrown the queen, dethroned her. This is like a non-peaceful transfer of power that we're seeing. And and, and Nick, she's going, she's not going out without a fight. But the, the village people are like off with her head. She's abused her power as the queen and there's a new queen. For sure. And like you said, I mean, I'm a long time Barb. So this is like, you oh, know you what are. I'm saying? It's like, it's kind of hard. It's hard to see it on her end of it, but also like Meg did her thing, you know, and that brought us here. Yeah, I agree. So as, as a Barb, do you think you can ever be a full Barb again? <sighs> no. Yeah, I was like, please say no. <laughs> no, no. I was, that's what I've been saying to my friends because they've been asking me about it. I was like, I can't defend this, you mm-hmm. know, like indefensible. Yeah. Career staining, career almost completely ruining. Nikki will never be respected or admired in the same way ever again. And if this didn't end her career, it changed it forever. And I think rendered her unworthy of the title of queen. And she did it to herself because Megan Thee Stallion bit her with her with her snake venom. Now, Megan Thee Stallion's doing, like, a whole plot of songs right now. The first one was Cobra. And it was about her saying she's, like, sad and depressed. She said, mm-hmm. this pussy depressed. I've been there. Like, my my pussy's Real. been depressed before, you know. So then Hiss is, like, when someone who was hurt, like, lashes out. Mm-hmm. And I think Megan's third song should be called Megdusa. Like, mom, like Ooh, Medusa. That's good. That's where good. Where she's, like, the queen of snakes and, like, turns people to stone Mm -hmm. like she'll she'll freeze them because megan just going along with the whole snake thing like i'm picturing that one movie i don't know if it was called like clash of the titans or something but medusa has a scene and she's just this giant snake with snakes on her head and she'll turn anyone who goes against her to stone and like freeze them and she's like frozen tori lane's career she's frozen (laughs) the baby's career now she's freezing Nicki minaj's career i was like she's megdusa so that should be the name of her next song. I really like that. She could do a really cool video with that too. Right? You know? Like Meg Dusa, I'll turn you to stone if you're a loser. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> so Megan, the third song should be called Meg Dusa. I think it would work so good. So what can we learn from this? I think you can learn how to destroy your own enemy. You basically prod them to do it themselves. You calculate every move about them, what triggers them, what will get them to react and then lay the seeds for their own destruction. Give them enough rope for them to hang themselves. Right. I think Megan's like silence right now is also very skillful. Yes. Like not saying anything about it yet. Yeah. Uh, She's so good. I'm like madly in love with her and I always have been on this podcast, but I've always loved Nikki too. So it's interesting to see this transfer of power and now she's going on tour this summer. Are you going to go to the hot girl tour? If I can get tickets. Maybe. I know. I wonder if she'll do arenas or theaters. I don't know. I haven't heard. She she is massive, but like selling out arenas is hard. That is. So I don't know. I'm going to try to go, though. I do have I'm trying to get like someone promised me their ticket to the Pink Friday 2 tour. But now I'm like, I don't know if I want to go. Uh, where were you going to go at like Rolling Lab or and in Milwaukee? I was gonna oh, go. OK. OK. Yeah, because I was going to go home in April and then drive to Milwaukee. Gotcha. I was going to go to like try to go to the Pink Friday 2 tour, but I didn't want to go to Rolling Loud and there wasn't any I know. other like, L.A. dates. Thank so you. It was like, oh, I don't know. I know. Maybe I don't know. Maybe it'll be an entertaining show if she's still this unhinged. But yeah, I just can't support someone who laughs at someone for domestic violence, is misogynistic right. and you know, is okay with everything else in life that she is going through. So it seems like Nicki Minaj is over and her reign is over and Hiss is projected to debut at number two. I've been streaming it every five seconds. Every time I remember it exists, I stream it. (laughs) (laughs) I've been making so many TikToks about it this week. They're not even doing that good, but I'm like, I don't care. (laughs) Like, (laughs) I'm going to keep pushing this narrative. So yeah, students, let me know if you think Nikki's over, if you can defend her. Again, Barb's, I, I hope you know I was objectively saying all of this. I'm simply the reporter, the vibe checker, reflecting the vibes that y'all were putting out. So don't dox me, don't waste your time. You don't I am a nomad. I don't have an address. I come and I go. So don't even bother. Um, I, I have a Shih Tzu who will bite your ass. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm just kidding. But anyway, thank you guys for joining me this week. We have to wrap it up here. So and, um, next week, get excited for the continuation of the Nikki and Megan saga. 
All right. Bye, everyone. Love you all. Class dismissed. Mwah. Mwah. Mwah.